Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. After the discovery I made in episode 48 about the fake RF output transistors, I thought I'd order some off eBay to see if they were any better. As you can see we have a large selection of the MIA of the common RF output transistors that were found in some of the more common sets back in the day. So we're going to be testing these and see whether they actually do what they're supposed to do or whether they are fake. So let's get started. So to start off with, these were the transistors that were bought from a reputable UK supplier, which I thought they should have been working. They should have been genuine, but no, they weren't genuine at all. They produced absolutely zero RF as shown in my Moonraker Miner video. And these are the 2078s I bought off eBay from a um, Chinese supplier. So we'll be testing those, see if those are any better than the UK ones. We have some NEC 1306s, which I doubt very much are genuine, but we're going to test them anyway. We have its big brother counterpart, the 1307. Again, an NEC part. But will it produce any RF? This is the question. And if it does produce RF, will it produce the healthy 20 odd watts that they used to? And of course, the all famous 1969, the Mitsubishi part. Now the question is, again, will this produce any RF at all? But anyway, let's get started. So we're going to be doing some tests in this Audio Line 340. That is actually working. Even though it's a bit battered. So first off we're going to transistor test the RF output transistor. That is actually in the uh, Audio Line. And as you can see, it comes up as an MPN, but it's pin configuration as expected. And this transistor produces a healthy 5 watts. So here we are on the 5 watt scale. And as you can see, as we transmit, we're getting over the 5 watts, which is perfectly acceptable for that RF output transistor being a genuine part. So on to the first 2078 that was purchased from the UK supplier. And as you can see on a 5 watt scale we're getting 0.3 of a watt which is probably what the pre-drive is. So I think we can conclude that this transistor does not produce any RF as suspected from the other video. So stay well clear of that one. That's supposed to be a reputable UK supplier. So let's try the 2078 from the Chinese supplier. Checks out as a transistor which it probably all that's probably all it actually is and we're getting we're getting one watt out of that so it's better than the other one but still not very good so let's now try the 1306 Now that's a little bit better, three and a half to four watts. Not keeping it keyed up for too long because it's not connected to a heat sink at all. Now let's try the 1307. So 
so here's the 1307 in the audio line and just over 3 watts which is a bit less than the 1306 but even still it's producing a little bit of RF and now the 1969 let's see what that does and 0.3 of a watt so that is absolutely rubbish so I hear you th saying well you didn't try it in maybe there's something different in the radio well here's a major M120 with a 1306 as standard and as you can see with the standard 1306 it's producing well over 5 watts which is more than acceptable for this radio so we're going to try our Chinese 1306 and see whether we can get the same amount of power and now we're getting 3 watts out of this one so it's better than nothing, it is trying to do something at least so after a little bit of a tune up we've managed to get 4 watts out of it so that's kind of okay it could be better but it is producing RF so maybe that'll be okay for some purpose and here's a 1307 and that's producing 4 watts as well or just under 4 watts so I suspect they're both the same transistor in the first place back to the factory 1306 and over 5 watts so the 1306 and 1307 do kind of work and here is a multi-mode 2 with a 1969 inside it and as you can see 20 watt scale we've got 15 watts output this is a genuine 1969 and that genuine one is on the left and our Chinese one is on the right so we're going to place this into our radio and see whether that actually works and as you can see exactly the same as before just under a watt and here's a 1307 inside the same radio the multi-mode 2 and we're getting just over a watt with that so the 1969 and the 1307 are total rubbish and there's the original 1969 back in the radio and there's our healthy 15 watts output so the results the 2078 from the UK supplier total fake the 2078 from eBay producing one watt fake the 1306 from eBay that produced 4 watts after a tune, acceptable but still fake. The 1307 that produced 4 watts, fake. The 1969 from eBay, total fake, no more than quarter of a watt output. Is there actually any of these RF output transistors out there that aren't new old stock? Who knows? If anybody knows of any working RF output transistors, they're similar to these please let me know and we'll get them tested but as always thanks for watching i hope you've learned something don't forget to like subscribe join my facebook group and we'll see you in the next video